KHKT News Today. A 6.3 magnitude earthquake was detected in North Korea and authorities have determined that it was caused by a nuclear test. The magnitude of the earthquake caused by the explosion is greater than from any of the previous tests, leading officials to believe it may have been a hydrogen bomb test. Kim Jong-un was recently shown inspecting a warhead that North Korean state-run news depicted as being a hydrogen bomb. This is the sixth nuclear test the regime has conducted. Via Daily Caller Seismic activity in North Korea suggests the country just conducted its sixth nuclear test. A 6.3 magnitude earthquake, according to both the U.S. Geological Survey and the China Earthquake Administration, was detected in North Korea Sunday, just hours after the North revealed what it claimed is a thermonuclear device, specifically a hydrogen bomb. USGS confirmed that this was a surface-level event, and the South Korean military has determined that this was an artificial earthquake, indicating a nuclear test. The Japanese Foreign Ministry has confirmed that North Korea conducted its sixth nuclear test at around noon on Sunday, September 3. The fifth nuclear test, which the North Koreans conducted in September of last year, produced seismic data resembling a 5.3 magnitude earthquake. The nuclear device tested at that time had an alarming explosive yield of roughly 10 to 30 kilotons. Assuming North Korea just conducted another nuclear test, the explosive yield is almost certainly much higher than the last. To generate seismic data resembling a 6.3 magnitude earthquake, North Korea would need to test a substantial staged thermonuclear bomb, according to renowned arms expert Jeffrey Lewis. The testing of a thermonuclear device would be a significant step forward for North Korea, which is in the process of developing an effective nuclear deterrent against the U.S. and its allies. The North has already developed an intercontinental ballistic missile that can range the vast majority of the continental U.S., and it is clear that North Korea has a nuclear warhead for this missile and the others in its arsenal. If North Korea tested the device revealed earlier, the North Korean nuclear crisis is about to get significantly more complicated. And via BBC A large earth tremor detected in North Korea was the country's sixth nuclear test. Japan's foreign minister says. The government confirms that North Korea conducted a nuclear test after examining information from the weather agency and other information, Taro Kona told reporters. U.S. seismologists had said the 6.3 magnitude quake in the northeast of the country was a possible explosion. It was in the area where the North has conducted previous nuclear tests. The tremor came hours after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un was pictured with what state media said was a new type of hydrogen bomb. State media said the device could be loaded onto a ballistic missile. Neither claim could be independently verified. South Korea officials said the quake took place in Kilju County, where the North's Pung Ira nuclear test site is situated. Soon after. South Korean President Moon Jae-in convened an emergency meeting of his National Security Council. China's earthquake administration described the tremor as a suspected explosion. It said it had detected a second tremor just after the first, of 4.6 magnitude, which it termed a collapse. Initial reports from the U.S. Geological Survey put the tremor at 5.6 magnitude with a depth of 10 kilometers, 6 miles. But this was later upgraded to 6.3 magnitude at zero kilometers. This would make it the North's most powerful nuclear test to date. North Korea carried out its last nuclear test in September 2016. It has defied UN sanctions and international pressure to develop nuclear weapons and to test missiles which could potentially reach the mainland US. Bruce Bennett, a defense analyst at public policy group the Rand Corporation told the BBC that the size of the tremor was significant. If it really does prove out to be 6.3, that's a very big weapon, much bigger, he said. It's still not a true hydrogen bomb but it's certainly much closer to that than anything they have ever done before. He said China would also be concerned about the size of the suspected blast. Those Chinese people across the border from that area, they were undoubtedly shaken terribly, he said. Great destructive power.
a series of recent missile tests has caused growing international unease. In a report on Sunday, the North State News Agency KCNA said Kim Jong-un had visited scientists at the Nuclear Weapons Institute and guided the work for nuclear weaponization. The institute recently succeeded in making a more developed nuke, the report said, adding, he, Kim Jong-un, watched an H-bomb to be loaded into a new ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missile. The report carried pictures of the leader inspecting the device. It described the weapon as a multifunctional thermonuclear nuke with great destructive power which can be detonated even at high altitudes. International experts say the North has made advances in its nuclear weapons capabilities but it is unclear if it has successfully miniaturized a nuclear weapon it can load onto a missile.